Hello, clever people! Welcome to my really late review of Mother's Day. Better late than never, right? So, Mother's Day is about, um, not much at all. It's about a ton of subplots about mothers, all revolving around Mother's Day, and different mother's struggles, and they connect somehow, because... <sighs> this movie's awful. This is a terrible, terrible movie. This year seems... Uh, whenever I get hope that this year is going to get better, it gets worse. And and a film like Mother's Day proves just this. Because I was thinking, okay, this this year's starting to turn up. You know, we had some good films in April. We're going to have some great films in May. This is going to be... Oh, and Mother's Day. Oh, God. Okay. Let's just talk about how the worst part of this movie. The cheesiness. God, it is so cheesy. It's unbearably cheesy. It's just, it, it feels so cliche cheesy, if that makes sense. Cliche cheesy, where it's like, whatever you imagine being cheesy, that's exactly what it is presented on screen. It's almost unbearable. It's, it's hard to watch because of how cheesy it is. Uh, the acting in this film is awful for most everyone. Um... Uh, I already mentioned that it was cliche, uh, and it's completely unrealistic. There's two events that I found insanely unrealistic. For one, uh, the beginning of the film, a mom throws a banana at a window trying to get it to her child, even though she knows that the window is closed, for absolutely no reason. It's insanely annoying, and another really weird thing is that some of the main characters need to make a... Uh, a float for uh, Mother's Day Parade. You need to make like this project. So what they do is they make a womb for the Mother's Day Parade. It's 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 so stupid that would never happen in real life. Um, there's some scenes of stand-up comedy in this film that are that almost feel like I feel like someone thought, oh, we need to write stand-up comedy, but it's three in the morning and I'm tired. Uh, right, right, right. And I just wrote something that made no sense because none of the stand-up comedy is funny. And the people are laughing in the background and having these huge reactions. And it's insanely annoying. Um, there's an old McDonald's scene where they're singing Old McDonald Had a Farm and it's a play. And it was... Oh, God. It made me want to throw up of how bad it was. Um, there's... Okay. There was a scene where one guy is walking away from a soccer match to see his daughter, who just played soccer, and then there are people walking by. And the people walking by are having a conversation that is audible to the screen, and they completely change topics in the middle of talking. They go from talking about soccer to talking about a singer in the middle of the conversation. I, I don't even know if they improvised that, and that's why it was so bad, or if that was actually written. But I don't know why, randomly, in the middle of a conversation, they completely changed the topic that they were thinking about. It's, it's insanely unrealistic. Uh, it's just, the dialogue is awful, it's cringeworthy at times. Um, and it's it's a really long film. I mean, I I think it was close to two hours, and it felt its length because this was a really really long film if I had to find a good for this movie it would be that there was decent chemistry but really that that's not it, it, like it was okay chemistry it's not like it was that good this is an awful film in any other year this would probably be my top three worst films of the year yet this isn't like any other year and that is why I give Mother's Day a two out of ten all right, I am Robert Burke, and this has been my review of Mother's Day. And this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.